But we have purgatory in the Catholic Church. You have the papacy. You have tons of different other teachings, the acceptance of the Apocrypha, different scriptural writings, because people weren't able to read the Word of God for themselves. They had to trust the, uh, the good priest, right? Who was, who was looking out for them, who was, who was shepherding their souls. They had to trust him. And so when they said, oh, this is also the Word of God, they had to trust in that. And there's a lot of teachings in the Apocrypha that are not orthodox in any way. There is a reason why they weren't part of the canon in the first place. In other words, uh, what Scripture really is, the canon of Scripture, uh, those 66 books, that's, that's what Scripture is. And this uh, apocryphal teaching, that was extra. And so a lot of priests accepted those teachings and started teaching those things, which has different ideas about uh, your eternal destination and uh, things like purgatory uh, and a bunch of different things. And most importantly, indulgences. Now, if you know what an indulgence is, you know that that was like the tipping point for Martin Luther. Uh, there's a great, it's not, it's not historically accurate, okay? But there is a great movie uh, of Martin Luther uh, Joseph Fiennes plays Martin Luther and it shows his heart. And I think you could see it in his writings as well, that Martin Luther was a pastoral guy. He loved his people. And there was teachings that were coming around him about this idea of indulgences, which basically was you pay the priests, the Catholic church in order for you to be saved. You pay more and you might be able to get out of purgatory or get someone you love out of purgatory. Now, what loving father or what loving mother wouldn't try to do that for their children, right? Well, this is scandalous. This is, this is the Catholic Church, you know, just abusing their congregants. And this was all over the place. It, it was prevalent throughout all of Roman Catholicism to the point where all a lot of those buildings, you know, I had a friend who was traveling over in Europe and he was sending me all these pictures of these beautiful cathedrals. And I just couldn't help thinking, I wonder how many peasants had to die in order for that to be erected. It's serious stuff. We're talking about widespread abuse of uh, the most Im just poorest of the poorest and giving anything that they had in tr in hopes of gaining salvation and martin luther saw that and said no i'm not going to do that took his hammer which didn't look anything like this okay uh, but he nailed those 95 theses and the reformation was started and so what did those guys teach all right a lot of us know like that that story a lot of us know a little bit of the history, especially when it comes to indulgences and when a coin in the coffer rings, a soul from purgatory springs. We know all that kind of stuff surrounding it. But what were the reformers actually about? We'll get into it in just a minute.